Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mouse key skill video on finding the length of an internal diagonal of a cuboid using Pythagoras theorem. This is sometimes known as 3D Pythagoras because we're using Pythagoras theorem, which usually applies to 2D shapes, right angle triangles, in a 3D setting. Now what do I mean by an internal diagonal? If I have a cuboid, then a face diagonal would be a diagonal across a face from one corner to another hence the name. An internal diagonal is one that connects opposite corners of the cuboid and where the diagonal goes sort of through the cuboid, through the middle of it. Now finding internal diagonals is slightly harder than finding face diagonals which we explored in another video. We're trying to find the length of AG, so let's connect A to G. It's this line here. Now the key to solving these problems is to identify a right angle triangle that uses that length you're interested in as the hypotenuse. Now can you see that by adding the line AC that this is now a right angle triangle floating in 3D. Let me put the right angle in there, you can see. The AG, the length we're trying to find, should be the hypotenuse, the longest length of your right angle triangle. So you just have to add one extra line. In this case, we added AC. Now at the moment, it's quite difficult to find AG because we only know one of the lengths. We know that EA is 12 centimetres, so CG is also 12 centimetres, the height of the cuboid. But we need to know a second length of the right angle triangle to find the third. So if we were trying to find AG, we know the 12, but we also need to find the AC. Ah, but actually, can you see on this bottom rectangle, if I draw the rectangle separately, where you've got A here, C here, we've got that four centimeters here, we've got that three centimeters here, and you can see AC goes across the diagonal of that rectangle. We can use Pythagoras theorem to find AC. So if we just make that X, we can use Pythagoras theorem. We do the short length squared, well one of the short length squared, plus the other short length squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. And then if you solve that equation, you get x is equal to 5. So we now know that the bottom length of this big right angle triangle is 5 centimetres. And we've got enough information now to find out what AG is. So let's draw that big shaded rectangle separately. We've got that bottom length, AC, is equal to 5. We've got the height, CG, is equal to 12. And we want to find AG, so let's call that Y. Now if we use Pythagoras again, we do a shorter length squared plus the other shorter length squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. And if you do 5 squared plus 12 squared, that's 169. We just square root both sides, so y is equal to 13, and the unit is centimetres, so that is the final answer.